This video is for people who are looking for something more in triathlon right now, who like the group rides, who like the community spirit, who like the local races. This is for the people who consider themselves triathletes and are just get excited and wish that there was more um, content or anything out there to help them get excited when they want to go do a workout. I want to share that energy that I got from my very first race uh, that kept me in the sport all these years since, since I was 12 years old. Well, today I am getting packed uh, frantically, got to run down to San Diego. Uh, we're going to uh, do some video we've been planning about Alcatraz. We will make it interesting. We'll just try to get it all done with one day. That's that's the challenge. We'll, we'll see. Sweet. There we the go. challenges of, of what I do when I make a video are fitting the, um, the filming and everything around the actual training. I've always uh, really struggled with that and with getting the kind of shots that I wanted and the kind of storytelling that I wanted because I couldn't ever bring a camera to a hard workout. The other big challenge of this was uh, our, our filming schedule. So we actually filmed this entire thing in one day with the exception of nice. the following footage while going down um, Kowser Canyon on the bike. Matt McElroy, uh, my teammate um, and fellow Transition 4 member, he helped me get that about a week earlier. The challenge there though is like we had to make sure that the sun was actually out when we went out when me and my dad filmed, otherwise we'd have this super sunny footage with Matt and super cloudy footage from, from when we went out and got it. I say whatever you like better. Either this is the second time that my dad and I have worked together oh, filming something. And um, I gotta say, <laughs> that one was really rough in terms of me trying to describe, you know, things that I had in my mind, I'd communicate those to my dad, and have my dad be able to fly the drone or, or use the Osmo or whatever, and actually get that shot was really challenging. I'm in uh, California, San Diego area, and uh, I'm driving a right-hand drive car with a whole bunch of camera equipment in the back driving this thing to different spots on the road where I'm trying to film a target moves awfully damn fast. Oop, time to pull over. I've just gotten the signal. This is the spot I'm going to set up on. So, got to go. Getting swim footage is something I've never been able to do. I can't bring a camera. I can't uh, you know, like when I go out on a bike ride, I can just put a GoPro in my pocket and get a couple shots and collect that and put it together after a month or whatever, but um, I certainly can't do that with the swim. Basically everything for the open water swim was either the DJI Osmo or the Mavic Pro drone. It did cost me some money to put together, obviously, but I uh, ended up getting a few sponsors to help, it, help out. Cliff Bar, Blue 70, and Rolf Prima. And it'll help me cover the cost. Moving forward, I want to do more oh, projects yeah. like this, uh, but more uh, on more athletes in, in transition for and bring on a couple new athletes and keep expanding this um, all while you know being able to give pro, pro athletes a, a bigger voice and everything and, and be able to tell these cool stories without getting in the way of their training. So that's the goal, and this was just kind of one step in that direction and an awesome learning process. So. biggest fear right now is that Paula is going to come driving in having already finished her swim we haven't even started I'm gonna to get to have the me massive eye roll like oh my gosh guys are still here such a production <laughs>